citizens groups gathered in Denver this afternoon. Their goal, to try and keep Rocky Flats closed. This comes a day after a major court decision regarding that area. Rocky Flats, of course, is the former nuclear weapons plant site. It's six, 16 miles northwest of Denver and is the proposed site for a public recreational area with more than 20 miles of trails. CBS 4's Melissa Garcia is live outside the state capitol. Melissa, a lawsuit to stop the development was stopped short in court. The U.S. District Court dismissed the lawsuit that alleged environmental violations, but it will allow plaintiffs to reopen the case if government agencies fail to properly analyze the results and, and do proper tests of that environment before opening Rocky Flats to the public. Now, today, we talked to some protesters here who say they have seen some of those risks firsthand. I found out through a Google search that I lived near Rocky Flats that I was having health problems at the time. Arvada native Tiffany Hansen only recently learned of the nuclear weapons production facility that ran for 40 years near her neighborhood. I started to reach out to people in the neighborhood, people I went to school with, and found out there was a lot of illness in the area. A lot of people were sick, a lot of people had cancer, people have passed away. She says the findings, based on a survey through Metro State University, call for more research. We were all lied to. Research ralliers want done before the site opens to the public, where the plant long used plutonium to build hydrogen bomb triggers is now home to wildlife, a national refuge that the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service plans to open to hikers, bikers, and horseback riders in the summer of 2018. You can breathe the plutonium particle in today and you won't wake up sick tomorrow. It takes a long time. After years of cleanup and monitoring, federal and state agencies deem the land safe for human use. Rally organizer Bonnie Graham Reed disagrees. They would have to exhume the entire site, in which case it would not be a wildlife refuge anymore, to get really all the contamination up to make it safe for humans. A map of proposed construction shows an 8.7 mile greenway and other trails stretching throughout the refuge, plus a visitor center that would welcome tens of thousands every year. People are at risk. People are at risk, especially children. The attorney who filed the lawsuit says that if federal agencies do not do the proper testing that they are asking for, then they will bring this case back to court. As of right now, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service plans to break ground on the public facilities coming up this winter. We're live in Denver, Melissa Garcia covering Colorado First. A lot of strong opinions. Thank you, Melissa.